Hey everyone, how are you? I am about to show you, it's not really magic, but it's more a demonstration of extreme advanced card handling. Um, this uh, trick per se has been around since the 20s, I believe. There was this magician, an expert gambling expert named John Scarney. Just read the description. And people would give them their own decks, new or as is. They would shuffle the cards. They'd give it to him. He would shuffle and cut, and he would cut to the four aces. I mean, think about that. That's like in the miracle class. Um, mobsters, con men, uh, uh, gamblers, even fellow magicians tried to get the secret out of him, but he never budged. I mean, he was even threatened by the mobsters, uh, to reveal the secret or die. Um, some people thought that as he shuffled, he could see the aces as they fell and then estimate where they were and cut to them. I don't know if that's true or not, but if that's true, that takes tremendous skill. Now, I am not saying I'm a John Scarney or an expert card handler, but this is just my version, and it's done with a deck of uh, bikes, bicycle cards. And, you know, uh, people can even shuffle the deck. I've done this blindfold and just see my bids for that. And enjoy this extreme fate of Ledger Germain, Slight of Anne, Magic. All right. I do have the four aces on top already. Okay. You can see that. You can see none. They're not bent. None of the corners are bent. And we got a deck of cards all different. They're not like all aces and whatever. And I'm going to put these in different places. And don't think I'm counting them because I'm going to be shuffling and cutting, shuffling and cutting, shuffling and cutting. Okay. And they fairly go in the deck. They're not sticking out or anything. I'm not controlling the cards. These are real, honest-to-God shuffles. This is a real cut, and so on. And I'm going to try to cut to the aces one at a time. And remember, when I cut to the ace, it gets harder because there's the least aces in the deck. Spades. The Ace of Hearts. Be honest, I didn't quite get it that time. There, I got it. Like I said, this is very hard to do. But I make up all the rules so I can get a second chance if I want. And let's see the last. Nope. The last day, the Ace of Clubs. As I said, this is a very hard routine to do. It took me about three years of practice. And voila, I got all four aces. All right. You got to admit, that's not bad. All right. Um, some people have wanted an update. I haven't done an update in quite a while. 
So I will give you an update of how I'm doing and so on. Um, I'm doing so-so. I kind of have the same type of difficulties as I've had. Uh, recently, I've had um, stomach and um, bowel problems. That's all I'll get as far as that. And I've had bad chest pains. It, it'll go from my chest and radiate into my lower jaw. Um, and uh, it hurts. I went to the doctor. So anyway, um, I have a stress test. They scheduled a stress test. I don't know if you guys know what that is. I think you're like hooked up to electrodes and then um, they, uh, what do they do? They, um, you're like on a treadmill or something um, and they do different things. Um, and then, I can't believe I'm saying this, uh, the day before is going to be hell. I can't eat anything. Um, but I'm going to have a colonoscopy. I'm not going to describe it, just look it up. Um, because I've been having the stomach problems. And this summer with my magic, I've only been out five times. It's very sad because there's about 12 weekends in a summer. That's about 24 nights. And I've been out. And it's not just for physical reasons. It's also for psychological reasons. I'm just really, really tired of the loneliness that I feel. You know, I turned 19. Or I tur sorry, I wish I turned 35 on the 19th. And I'm still not with anyone. And I don't mean to sound like a whiner, you know. I know there's a lot of people worse off than I am. Um... And, and please don't say, I hate it when people say these cliches. I think they say it because it's the only thing they know. They're like, when you're looking for love, it won't come. It comes when you least expect it or you need to be satisfied being alone uh, before you can be with someone else. I don't really believe those. Um... You know, even my therapist, doctor, and, and best friend have said that I have to go out there. You know, my problem is I isolate. Um, I don't leave my house that much. I, uh, I don't know why, and it just gotten worse over the years. I feel like a certain comfort at home. Um, the only time I really get out is when I perform on the weekends in the summer. But I might leave my house maybe once a week, maybe for an appointment or to shop or something. You know, um, it's just I have no place to go, you know, being on the disability. I have no job um, except for under the table, my magic and hypnosis. And, uh, you know, um, you know, I'm not in college because a lot of people will meet people through friends, which I only have like two friends that I actually see. And I haven't seen either of them in about six months or so. Uh, I'm not talking about internet friends. To me, that's different. To me, a friend friend is one that you actually visit, see, talk to face-to-face -face and have human interaction with. But a lot of people will meet people through other people, through school, through work, and so on. And not having a car is hard. You know, it's been 15 years since I've driven, and I've never in my life owned a car because of financial reasons. You know, at 20, um, I got on the disability, which I had mixed feelings about. But my therapist said, hey, if you had cancer, um, 
and they put you on disability, would you feel guilty? And I, I said, of course not. And she said, well, your illness is a legitimate illness. So lack of funds, um, that's hard. Um, I'm not into bars, not into clubs. I'm on two free dating sites. Um, there's one site called Christian Mingle I might do. I have done, um, I don't know, it's a pay site, match.com. And while I do believe online dating does work, my mom knows of, knows of a couple married people. I think with me, you would have to meet me. My best friend, who's always been good with females, has told me, you know, I need to take more risk. You know, I need to go out um, and, and take more risks because when I do my magic, I flirt and I pass out my business cards. And he said, that's all good and fine, but get their number. And I've done that a couple of times. Um, and the phone numbers, most of the times were wrong, but I got a couple of numbers that were right, but nothing really panned out. And I'm not a desperate person because last fall, um, you know, there's a girl I was kind of hanging out with, um, and I just, there's no attraction, no, nothing there. So we parted ways, you know, um, and my best friend thinks that what I need is a healthy relationship. He, he says, you know, it would change my whole outlook on life if I was in a healthy relationship and stuff. Um, you know, not that I'm dependent on it or anything. Um, but I'd like to have someone to love and have kids with. And it's, it's not really a selfish thing because I want kids. And... At 35, I don't have the energy that I had when I was um, 28. Like I said, you know, I feel fatigued. I feel run down and tired. And that's a big reason why I don't leave my house. Um, you know, I want energy to raise kids. But like he said, you know, they're not going to come knocking on my door. I got to go out you know, and take risk. He said, don't come across as needy, but, um, you know, talk, flirt, um, and so on. And he says, if I get rejected, not to crumble, because when I get rejected, I tend to really crumble and go into a shell for a couple of weeks. And he's like, you know, you got to brush it off, move on to the next one, as there's plenty of fish in the sea. You know, my therapist said, you know, maybe join a gym or a support group. She said a lot of her clients have met their partners through support groups. You know, there is a bipolar support group, which is my illness. And... Why support groups are good is because the people are more forgiving of what you lack and, and they understand you a little better. Um, and there's a trolley that, that can take me to the support group, but it ends late and I'd have to get a ride or a cab or something. It's the first Monday from 6 to 8 of the month. And I pray about it, too, you know, and I really believe it's God's will that I be with someone. Um, it's just, I don't, it's just so hard. You know, like I said, you know, I just feel run down and, and physically I'm not quite up to par. And it just seems like it takes a lot of effort to do little. Um... And I'm, I don't know what else. You know, I'm getting more magic in. Um, you know, which I will show you. I'm learning stuff. And 
uh, I'm trying, I guess, you know. Um, you know, in the past, you know, I've said I've had suicidal thoughts and, and I've put myself in places to keep me safe, but I'm not that bad off, thank God, right now, you know, I'm, I'm just living, I guess, which is good, you know, that's more said than for a lot of people. You know, I don't want you to think, oh, he's whining, he's ungrateful. You know, I'm very grateful. You know, um, I don't know. Who knows, maybe some girl that lives in my area will watch this and email me. I don't know. All right. Okay, so you guys got the update you wanted and that I wanted to give, please go to my website, www.edini.com. That's E-D-D-I-N-I. -I. I have great hypnosis MP3s. Uh, because of the site, you have to purchase it first. And when that clears, you will get a MP3. Um, you know, I got ripped off a bit ago, um, you know, we sent the MP3 before the PayPal cleared and I never got paid. Um, and I hate that it's that kind of system that that's on my uh, site, but it is. Um, and Aaron Rowe, he, he runs it, obviously. All right. Um, I thank you. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers. Um, there's this uh, one site. Uh, I, I forget he, he's in my subscribers and friends. It's a picture of Jesus. And he said he wanted a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Nicola. Um, let's see. I want to give out a a shout out to Ray uh, Do Jess Do Doachess. He's a great mentalist. He's uh, Dutch. I hope I pronounce that good. All right, thank you guys, and uh, I love you all. God bless you.